Happy hump day, guys. Welcome back to a Daily Dose of Love podcast. Today is Wine Wednesday, guys. What's in your cup? What's in your cup? I'd like to give a big shout out to my day one listeners and also welcome my new listeners. Sharika, thank you for the job you did last week. You were amazing and you were definitely going to be coming back on the show for an upcoming episode. Today's show, I'd like to dedicate to my mother. It's all about self-care. My mother is the person that I learned any and everything in regards to caring for yourself, the importance of making sure that your spirit was happy at all times and as much as possible that you were able to be able to spend time to just uh, nurture yourself. And after what we've gone through last year with COVID in 2020, and it was emotional for all of us. We weren't able to get out and do the things, you know, that we were normally used to doing, hanging out, hugging, gathering for social events, you know, church and just all those different things. So I think that this year in 2021 that we should all be committed to more self-care and self-care is the practice of taking actions to preserve or improve one's own health. So when you hear that, can you think of what you've done recently in regards to improving your health and making sure that you are self-caring and taking care of yourself? Self-care is extremely important to our mental, to our physical, to pretty much everything in our lives, you know? So we definitely have to take more time out this year. I came over to California about two weeks ago from Vegas where I reside, celebrating my sister's birthday. And we had a day at Glen Ivy Hot Springs here in Corona, California. And it was absolutely an amazing day of pampering. You know, there were mud baths, massages, and after we left there, I mean, I we were there for like six hours. We had checked in at maybe 10 something and didn't take off to closing at almost five. And I, I just realized of how much I had missed and not being able, because of last year and everything being shut down, of not being able to go get a massage or not being able to go to the nail shop and all the things that we were used to doing as far as pampering and the things that made my spirit happy. You know, my self-care days are Sunday. Anyone who knows me know long before this self-care thing has gotten popular now because of social media, I have always been into self-care days because I grew up with it with my mother. There will be Friday and Saturday nights, my mother and I, when I was younger, and then as my sister and then we're, you know, getting older, we always did massages. My mother would have, I mean, back in the days, it was pretty much, there weren't nail shops and all these big massage parlors and things that are up today as far as wellness health goes so my mother was like queen of Avon <laughs> she had all the you know skin so soft and uh, all those facials where you could peel them off cucumber and all those different uh, scents that she had and I would sometimes sneak and give my brother who Robbie was a rapper at that time and promote all his friends and I would give them all facials and stuff and you know be off into my mother's uh, little goodie bag of Avon pampering things for your nails and your feet there were scrubs just everything so like I said I grew up with her we would also practice natural uh, beauty treatments where I've put mayo in my hair and you know eggs on your face or lemon baking soda so all those things but when you're pampering yourself the thing that self-care does it it just kind of rejuvenates your entire spirit it's just so necessary and I Leaving that uh, Glen Ivy spa just really had me so relaxed and I had so much tension. And my upper shoulders, the guy that was massaging me was just like, I was like, oh my God, I've not been touched by a strong man in so long, being celibate 12 years. I was like super excited. So I, I want to encourage you all to this year in 2021, and I know things are limited as to where we can go and how safe things are, you know, with COVID still 
hanging over our heads and everything. So I just encourage you guys to, you know, self-care doesn't necessarily mean going to, you know, spend big money. You can go sit at the beach. That will make your spirit happy. Walking on the sand, looking up in the, at the sun, taking that in. Taking a nice walk through your neighborhood. Taking a nice long walk through your neighborhood. That's a nice, you know, simple, something you don't have to pay lots of dollars for. If you don't have it where you're able to go and get massages or go to a wellness center that costs hundreds or thousands of dollars, just make it really simple. Take a bike ride. Go and take a walk. Sit on the beach, you know, go to a park. Take yourself a little picnic basket, a nice book, some great music, or you know what? Just have all silence. Turn the phone off, sit, get into your own world and your own thoughts. Like I saw a video, just walk on the grass, you know, take your shoes off, get your bare feet and just walk in the grass. Just do anything to make your spirit happy. My routine with self-care usually takes place on Sundays. I am so, so into my Sundays being so sacred. And that's something I also grew up with my mom doing. You know, Sundays when it's football season, which, you know, we're in a dry spell that we don't be like, oh, a morning because no football. So normally on my Sundays, I'll start with a nice spread of fruit and, you know, something to nibble on. And I start with my wine and I'll start cooking my Sunday dinner and doing whatever household chores I may have. I'll also pamper myself with a facial. I'll do maybe something with my nails. I'll do a body scrub. And my Sundays are really, really meant to pamper my spirit. Like I am so protective of my Sundays. And I don't attend church, you know, to each his own. I have my own relationship with a job. But the thing that I love most is that I really take that Sunday for self-care. Light a candle, make a great meal, pamper myself, do some love to my hair. You know, there's just so many ways you can break down self-care. There's so many different ways you can make sure that you're maintaining a healthy relationship with yourself. You know, try to do something that you enjoy at least twice a month this year. Pull out your calendar and schedule yourself down for a facial. Even if you have to do it at home, the 99 cent store is a great place where you can pick up facials of all sorts. It's one of my favorite places to go and pick up different facials when I'm not doing any natural facials with, you know, baking soda, lemons or whatever I may be using at the time. But the 99 cent store is a great source to stack up on facials. You can also get candles there. You don't have to have those expensive candles. You can get old school incense. You know, there's so much you can do to pamper your spirit. Have a nice Epsom salt bath. Get it with lavender. Those are the things that will keep your spirit so happy. You have to maintain a healthy relationship with yourself. And that can also be through eating. Maybe you want to switch up your diet. You know, self Self-care is also eating healthy, exercising, you know, reading a book, listening to music and just dancing all by yourself, party for one. There's so many different ways that we have to stop to pamper our spirit. Self-care is self-love. So make that a part of your routine this year. Make sure you take time out for self-care. What is it that you really love doing that you haven't done in a long time? Take some time out for those things, but more importantly, take time out to care for yourself. To really give your spirit the things that you may be missing along the way during the week because you're busy doing this, you're busy doing that, worried about this. There's so much that we have to take in in a, in a day, in a week, in a month. So at some point, just make sure that you're putting yourself on the top of that list so that you're able to better be, you know, better for all situations in your life. 
I thank you all for tuning in. I'd like for you all to let me know how you're caring for yourself. I'd like you guys to give me an update on how much you're loving yourself. How big is your list at this point? Is your list getting bigger? Are you still at two things that you love about yourself? Or do you now have 12? Have you reached out to... I know Sharika touched bases on this uh, last week. If you need to speak with someone, have you reached out to go to therapy? Have you called any hotlines? All these things you have to do to care for yourself. Have you cut any time ties with any toxic people or relationships? You know, just clean up your life. Start caring more for yourself and your own needs. And if saying no to other folks is going to make you better care for yourself, then that's what you need to do. Make sure that everything you're doing in your life makes you a better person, a happier person. Sometimes self-care is just cutting off all those people that are draining you. People are taking more than they're giving. You can't love yourself if you're possibly trying to please everyone else and that means you're on the back burner and all your needs aren't being met because you're busy meeting everyone else's needs. So with that being said, I want you to commit to more self-care in 2021. Start with trying to make sure that you are doing something at least twice a month. And if you can't do that, at least start with once a month. Schedule yourself in for something that you really enjoy doing. And if pampering isn't your thing for facials or massages or any of those things, maybe you want to take a painting class. Maybe you've always wanted to play guitar. Whatever it is that you will do, whatever it is that you want to do, I'm sorry, that will make your spirit much happier, that's what you need to be doing. So I hope that this will encourage you to get out and Love yourself and embrace self-care all 2021. I'd like to give a big shout out. We have um, four new sponsors. I'd like to give a big shout out to Tasha Green. Thank you for being a sponsor. I'd like to thank Dominique Hamilton. Thank you for being a sponsor. And also Shanika Madison. Thank you for being a sponsor of a Daily Dose of Love podcast. And we'd also like to thank Mark James for becoming a sponsor of a Daily Dose of Love podcast. If you'd like to become a sponsor of a Daily Dose of Love podcast, at the bottom of the uh, link here, you will see where you're able to sponsor. We would appreciate it as I'm trying to get uh, headphones, microphones, and everything that's going to grow and make Daily Dose of Love an extremely great listening experience (laughs) as I, you know, better uh, my equipment so I thank you all for becoming sponsors I'd like to also give a shout out to the people all around the world we are international we are being listened to in 26 different countries so thank you all for tuning in tell a friend and also leave me a message leave me a review let me know how you're feeling about the podcast Um, If you have any questions or concerns, you can find me on social media. Also join my Daily Dose of Love book on Facebook, Daily Dose of Love community on Facebook. It's a public group and it's really good stuff over there. I'd like to encourage you all to continue loving yourselves, putting your needs first. And remember, give yourself more self-care. More self-care. Let me know what you're doing to care for yourself. Leave me a message. Let me know. Hit me up, guys. It was a pleasure. I'd like to have you all tune in again next week as we're going to discuss social media. Social media and all the craziness that that's causing in our lives and how a lot of people are feeling horrible about themselves in their lives because they're comparing it to maybe something they're seeing on social media that they shouldn't. And um, with that being said, you guys continue to be good to yourself. And remember, love your damn self. If no one else is loving you, tell them Tasha said so. One love. <laughs>